Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933 here, and in this video we're going to take a look at the similarities and differences between the CCNP route exam on the new CCNP track and the BSCI exam on still the current CCNP track. I do want to mention this and it ties in with the video so hang in there that I personally guarantee you'll beat this July 31st deadline with my immediately downloadable CCNP study packages. If for any reason you don't pass the exam you're studying for by July 31st, and I don't care if you just decided, you know, hey, it's nice outside, it's summer, I'm going outside. Uh, if you get sick, anything unforeseen happens, you're protected 100% because you're going to receive a fully downloadable NP study package for any of the new exams absolutely free. Please note this offer is valid only on my downloadable NP study packages and on no video course bearing my name, likeness, or voice. Now that you're wondering why I read that to you instead of just showing it to you, uh, it does tie in with a question I'm getting from a lot of students, you know, that say, hey, that's fantastic, but I'm just concerned about one thing. What happens if I study for the BSCI now uh, and something else happens or I just don't get there and I don't pass before July 31st? You know, didn't I waste time studying for the BSCI in the first place? And the answer is unequivocally no. And I'm glad I could clear that up for you. But in all seriousness, you don't want to lose your success momentum. There's nothing wrong with taking a little bit of a break after you pass your CCNA, you know, do a little spike in the end zone, a little dance, whatever turns you on. But you don't want to say, well, I'm going to wait a couple months here before I start studying for the NP. I'll wait for Chris's new courses coming out in the summer. Uh, don't lose that momentum. And what really works in your favor in this regard is that there is a tremendous amount of material that's on both your BSCI exam and your CCNP route exam. EIGRP, multi-area OSPF, route redistribution, and BGP are just four of the main topics that you're going to see on both exams. I mean, there's a lot of it. Multi-area OSPF, obviously a large topic, BGP even larger. So when you're studying this material, again, let's say you study in April and May, and then something happens in June, interrupts your studies, and you don't think you're going to be ready by July 31st, you've still put in the study time, and it's still going to help you pass the CCNP route exam. So there's absolutely no reason not to keep studying for that BSCI exam. Now, a couple of other questions that are fairly common right now. What's on the BSCI exam that didn't make it to the NP route exam? You know, something had to get left behind. Well, in this case, IS to IS is on your BSCI exam but will not be on the route exam, and multicasting is really not going to be on the NP route exam either. You may see a little of uh, multicasting tied in with IP version 6 on the NP route exam, but you're not going to see all of it that you saw on the BSCI. And speaking of IP version 6, that's the big difference really between the route exam contents and the BSCI contents is that in the CCNP route exam there is a much larger emphasis on IP version 6 and I do mean much larger and that's smart because IP version 6 is just getting bigger and bigger uh, and some of us won't learn it until we're threatened with it so um, we've got to learn it for the CCNP route exam again that's a much larger emphasis on IP version 6. Also you'll see some branch office networking on the route exam and I'm not discounting it and obviously you have to study for it if you're going the NP route uh, route but uh, you once you master BGP and multi-area OSPF branch office networking is not going to be that big a challenge but really these are the two uh, big topics that are on the route exam that you'll not see on the BSCI. There are some other minor differences, but those are really the big ones. So now you know that, frankly, whichever way you're going, when you get that NA, don't hesitate on your NP studies. Go ahead and dive into that BSCI, because again, the sheer number of common topics between the BSCI and the route exam, it's going to serve you well, even if something happens and you don't pass before July 31st. Also, watch for our new CCNP exam resource pages coming to the Bryant Advantage website. We're going to have more NP training videos for you, practice exams, illustrated tutorials, and some other great features that you're going to find only at the Bryant Advantage. Plus, we've got a new website launching in June 2010 to give you even more help in getting your NA, NP, and other certifications. And to see which ones those are, you'll have to visit the website. We'll have an announcement here on YouTube, as well as our current website, thebryantadvantage.com. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I will have similar videos out shortly on the CCNP switch exam and the troubleshooting exam as well. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933, and I look forward to helping you earn your CCNP.